Today we are reviewing the all-in-one Jack Jocks Interactive Studio with over 140 pounds of smart free weights, an incredible looking 43 inch rotating 4K screen, a digital push-up bar, vibrating foam roller, and live and on-demand classes. So there is a lot to discuss here. It's almost like having three or four reviews all bunched together because of all of this included equipment. Even with this much here, I actually think there is much more to the new Jack Jocks Interactive Studio than most people realize. And I think you'll be seeing that as a recurring theme throughout this review is that there is just a lot of potential here. Some of that potential has already been fully realized, but since this is a new connected fitness program, some of it is only really half realized and some things could definitely use some work. My name is Colin with Connect the Watts, and if that sounds good to you, hit the like button and let's get started. So what separates the new Jack Jock Studio from really anything else is that because there is so much variety in the weights that are included and that they all can be adjusted quickly, the classes on the Jack Jocks program seems less restrained or don't have to make as many compromises due to restrictions by equipment limitations. There's no other connected fitness program like this that I know of that has you moving back and forth between various dumbbell and kettlebell movements and being able to finish a class with mobility tools like foam rolling. Now this is something that you sort of would expect walking into a real fitness studio, but with connected fitness, classes tend not to incorporate multiple pieces of equipment. They generally will have a separate class for those who have a dumbbell or a kettlebell or maybe a foam roller and want to do mobility with that. But rarely are they mixed together and definitely not as seamlessly as this. And this really opens up the potential of their classes to provide a really well-rounded experience. And with the Jack Jock Studio, most most people will get everything included that they would need. Now the studio itself takes up a relatively small amount of floor space being about two and a half feet wide and almost two feet deep. And the entire package includes the 43 inch rotating 4K screen, two smart rep counting adjustable dumbbells, the smart kettlebell connect 2.0, a digitalized rep counting push up bar, the Jack Jocks vibrating foam roller, and an additional heart rate monitor for those who may not have one. So let's first dig into the quality of each of these things because there is quite a lot to this. Now the 43 inch 4K touchscreen included here looks super crisp and nice and so much so that I almost feel like I shouldn't be touching it because it feels like something you definitely would want to keep your hands away from. But the touchscreen does a pretty good job of not picking up fingerprints too easily and is super responsive and easy to use with a light touch. Now what is unique here about Jack Jocks' screen is that it has a motor in the back that can rotate at 90 degrees so you can choose between two different orientations depending on what you'd prefer. Additionally, the motor is also able to tilt the screen downward which is useful to help prevent glare in certain circumstances and makes it easier to follow along with some of the movements on the floor. Now the menu itself is oriented in the upright portrait mode so you'll likely be selecting your workouts in that orientation but once the workout starts you can choose between the two depending on which you like most. Now you probably don't want to be switching between orientations during the middle of the class as when you change orientations it does have to reload an additional video which depending on your internet connection can take some time now the upright portrait orientation makes it a lot easier to see all of your stats like your heart rate or your wattage or your reps whereas in landscape mode those metrics are a lot smaller and a lot more of the screen space is used to see the instructor and their movement now on the screen you're able to adjust all of the settings and weights on the smart equipment connected to it. So if you'd like to change the weights on your dumbbells or your kettlebells, it makes it really easy and convenient to do. Additionally, there are speakers in the back of the screen and while not amazing, they definitely do the job. And really what is nice here is that you can control the volume of both the instructor and the music separately to find the right balance that works for you. Now let's talk about some of this included smart equipment, starting with the adjustable smart dumbbells. So both of these dumbbells sit on the dumbbell stand attached to the Jack's Jock Studio. And this attachment can be lowered or raised depending on your own height. Now I chose to have the dumbbell holders all all the way down in the bottom position because for me it's easier to kind of squat down just slightly to pick the dumbbells up rather than having to lift them up to place them down each time. Now the dumbbells can be adjusted from 8 to 50 pounds in increments of 6. 
which is definitely enough weight for most people to get a great workout with. And like I mentioned, these weights can be adjusted via this screen or with the buttons on the dumbbell holders themselves, which is nice because these actually hold a battery. So these dumbbells can actually be adjusted whether or not the Jack's Chalks is powered on or even plugged in at all. So that's great. And the adjustment is relatively quick. It tends to take about three to five seconds to have the weight change. And you'll hear an audible beep when it's ready and safe to pick up. Now for adjustable dumbbells, these actually feel pretty great. The knurling and the grip in the middle feel really comfortable and good to use. And the overall dumbbell doesn't feel overly bulky or oversized as some adjustable dumbbells can be. Now these dumbbells also connect to Jack's Jocks via Bluetooth while you're using them to be able to track both your reps and the wattage that you are generating. Now, while this can be useful in some circumstances, just realize that the dumbbells aren't smart enough to realize what movement you are doing. So the accuracy of them definitely varies from movement to movement. I have found some movements where the rep counting works great and others, well, not so much. Additionally, and this is again, something that has potential to be improved here, is that currently when you're doing movements that require both dumbbells, Jack's Jocks will actually register each of these dumbbells separately. So each movement that you do will be registered as two movements. And while this may make sense from a volume tracking perspective, in terms of rep tracking, it looks a bit silly. And I wish Jack's Jocks would sort of categorize each class by which movement you're supposed to be performing at any given time. So a simple adjustment could be made when you're doing those movements to show the reps correctly. Now the Smart Jax Jox Kettlebell Connect 2.0 that is included here is very similar to the dumbbells in that it could also be adjusted in six pound increments from 12 pounds all the way up to 42. Now I've tested this kettlebell out before and I had a lot of positive things to say about it and still do, included how the handle feels, the size of the bell being big and round, which is actually really nice as it makes certain movements that may hit your wrist feel a lot more comfortable. The only big issue I had with this kettlebell when I previously tested it was how long it took for the weights to be adjusted and it seems that Jack Strox has completely fixed that issue. And in fact, it's actually even a lot quicker than the dumbbells, often taking less than a second to change out your your weight. And similar to the dumbbells, the kettlebell is able to track and show in real time your reps and the wattage you are generating. And again, the accuracy of this will depend on the movement you are doing. Now also included here is the digital push-up bar called the Push-Up Connect, which seems sort of strange at first, but shockingly, it's really one of the things that I like most here. Now with this push-up bar, you're able to keep your hands in more of a neutral position, which is really good for a lot of people who may have limited wrist flexibility. And it also makes the push-ups a little bit harder since you're more elevated from the ground. And you can adjust these handles from one of four positions for both narrow push-ups or extra wide ones. And they can also rotate depending on which hand position you'd like to keep as well. And of course, like the other smart equipment here, it is also able to track your reps. And some of the classes have been pretty creative with this because not only does it count push-up reps, but also other movements like burpees. And finally, it also comes with the Jack's Jocks Vibrating Foam Roller. Now, I've reviewed a lot of vibrating foam rollers in the past, and this is the first time using Jack's Jocks's. And I actually think, out of all of them, it may be one of the best available. In terms of how it feels with the firmness and texture included here, now the smart settings with the foam roller are a bit weird here. Like, you can choose what activity you did and what muscle group you would like to work on but I don't really understand why those options are here because it makes no difference in how the vibrating foam roller actually functions, at least as far as I can tell. And finally, as I mentioned, Jack's Jocks does include a heart rate monitor and charger, which you can plug into the back of the screen if you would like. And while this heart rate band isn't like the best one ever made, it's definitely going to be good enough for most people. And I see it really there just as a nice inclusion for somebody who may not already have one. So now that I've covered all the equipment, let's talk a little bit more about the rest counting, the wattage and stat tracking, and what they call the fitness IQ. Now in terms of potential, this is probably the area Jack's Jocks could improve the most, as not many of these metrics seem very useful or well organized here. Now as I mentioned, the rep counting can be useful, but it's not entirely accurate all of the time. Being able to see your wattage per movement has limited functional application. Like it probably helped me the most with the kettlebell training because you kind of want to have that explosive pop in your movement and so you can see your wattage rep to rep and I found it interesting and useful to notice if that wattage was going down if I got more tired so I'd increase how hard I would do that movement to make sure I kind of hit that same wattage each time. 
and there's not really too much here with the stat tracking that you can really utilize as you can't really see how much time you're spending on each movement or body parts or muscle groups and this again is something that jack shocks could definitely implement here and make it a lot more useful now they do have this fitness iq number thing but i really don't understand how that number works or really anything about it all i know is that it says my iq is relatively low now i may have a point but let's move on so now of course we gotta talk about jack jocks's workouts and programs on their connected fitness platform so these workouts are broken into several categories the most popular i imagine is going to be their jack jocks 360 classes now these classes are 45 minutes long they include a five minute warm-up a section for strength training and then a more conditioning or high intensity piece followed by a five minute mobility or foam rolling session and these 360 classes work really well because you're utilizing all of the equipment going back and forth so it feels like you're almost like taking a CrossFit class so I think these classes are great and I think Jack Jocks is really leaning into them as what will be most likely their most popular sessions they also have a category called strong which as you might think features classes focused solely on strength training then there's a category called sweat which is just the opposite of that with classes more focused on conditioning and high intensity intervals then there is the restore category which focuses on mobility recovery and there are yoga classes here as well additionally there is a category called skills classes so you can better learn how to perform each of the movements and skills more effectively jack jocks also has daily live classes they typically have about two per day one in the morning and one in the afternoon and if you just want to do your own thing and do your own workouts but have it counted and have your reps tracked you can select the freestyle mode and do just that now, while a lot of these classes and coaches seem to be really good, and I really do like the formats and how they put together a lot of these sessions, there are a lot of things still kind of missing here that would make this a better experience. The biggest thing for me is that none of these classes really have any description. So you have no idea what movements or what things you'll be focusing on for the most part before you start it. Additionally, while there is a decent amount of content here, because there's no dates on when these classes were added, it's really hard to tell how often new content is created. Additionally, the way the live classes are set up right now i really don't see the point to them as there's no leaderboard or any way to see who else might be in the class with you the instructors don't really mention anybody in the class or provide individual feedback or encouragement so it's pretty much the exact same experience as taking an on-demand class the only real difference that i found is that because it's live it requires a better internet connection if you don't want it to freeze up now jack Shops also has a good amount of fully built out programs here and these programs are impressive some of them spanning four to six weeks so there's obviously been a lot of work and effort into developing all of this i just again wish there was more descriptions about each of the classes and what's going on involved so you could better plan out your week now the cost for the jack Shocks interactive studio is currently two thousand four hundred and ninety nine dollars which is definitely on the more expensive side although given everything that is included here i think the value proposition is definitely worth it and you are required upon purchasing the jack Shocks to commit to a year of their membership, which costs $39 per month as most connected fitness services do. Additionally, the Jack Jocks Studio allows for up to six users and there is an accompanying app if you need to take some classes on the road. So personally, I think what Jack Jocks has here is really good and definitely has a ton of potential, mainly because of all the different equipment. It allows for a lot of class formats and options that you really don't see anywhere else. I'm definitely gonna keep using it fairly regularly to see what new updates and new things they have coming because the potential is really high and I really hope Jack Jocks is able to meet that potential. As always, Thanks so much for watching. If you like content and want more just like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.